on this episode of Heartbroke. These two aren't living together yet, and they have very different financial situations. So how does it feel to have him, you know, when he says, like, I'll pay for food? I feel bad. I'm interested to see how this one is going to come together. Are you able to save any money right now? That's saved in, like, various different accounts. Did you know he had money saved right now? <laughs> what do you really want? I would like her to be better at managing her own money. This is a show about love, money, and the difficult stuff that happens in between. We're giving couples a financial game plan to solve their challenges. But will they be able to make things work after six weeks? Or will the trial prove too testing? I'm Ty, I'm 29, and I'm a narrative writer for video games. I'm Rachel, I'm 28, and I'm a nanny. We met on a dating app during the pandemic, almost two years ago. We found love on the internet. <laughs> it is one of our goals to move in together. We'll be ready soon. I think there's just some things that we're gonna work on with Misty that will prepare us more for that. Right now, I make 115,000 a year. And I make 20,000 a year, and that combined makes 135,000 a year. I'm lucky I don't have any debt. And I have $39,000 of debt. Thank you, student loans. <laughs> so I spend about $1,600 a month on my expenses. And I spend about $3,500 a month. I'm nervous mainly because I, I don't really talk to people about my finances, so it's going to be a little strange talking to someone else about it. It's just always like a thing to like, don't talk about money, you know, so kind of just kept with that. <laughs> So you've been together almost two years. So what do you think is holding you back from moving in together? I know I would like to have more financial independence. What do you like to spend money on? He knows. <laughs> His makeup stuff for her, yeah, for sure. Yeah. How about you, Ty? Food and entertainment related okay. stuff for us. Definitely for going out, he's like spending a majority of you know the money on mm -hmm. things. Like I want to be able to pay for just as her hand, fair for budget. Share, yeah, my fair yeah, share, yeah. yeah. So how much debt do you have total right now? Like 39,000, 30,000 of it is a student loan. So Ty, how about you? Do you have any debt? I, I don't. So when you hear that she's got 39,000, how does that feel? I feel bad for her, of course. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Are you able to save any money right now? No. No? <laughs> do you have money saved right now? I do, yeah. Okay. And how much money do you have saved? Um, I have like 70k that's saved in like various different accounts. <laughs> okay. And what are you saving for? Good investment type mm -hmm. stuff and I know nothing about the stock market or, you know, crypto or any yep. of that type of stuff. Did you know he had $70,000? No. <laughs> How does that feel? Uh, it's, it's wild to me. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm like proud of him. That's, mm -hmm. that's great. It's just, I can't help but feel like I'm never ever gonna be able to like, like meet, match you. Why never? Because it feels like I have to get like a, a job that I would hate and would be like soul sucking to be able to make enough money to catch up. Do you think she needs to match you? No, I mean, I'm not worried about that. And I, <laughs> I feel like I tell her enough that he she shouldn't have to worry about matching it. What do you really want? I really do care about our relationship and I want to build a future together, and even more than just an apartment, you yeah. know, uh, experiences, life okay. experiences. You'd have to like be better with money to do that. <laughs> when you think about moving in together and like giving up the place, is that something that you've thought about, especially if you can't just leave? That's definitely one of, one of the things that I have reservations about. You know, when he says like, I'll pay for food or I'll pay for our dates, like how does that feel? It should feel good, mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't because I'm yeah. just like, I feel bad that I'm not contributing more. Being a generous person is actually like one of the most desirable qualities like humans could have. So yeah. make sure that like you don't opt out of the relationship because you're not a financial powerhouse. So okay. if I said to you that money in the past was blank, hard to come by, I guess. Just because I, again, I grew up with like parents constantly being in debt. Money is just still so like <laughs> foreign to me mm -hmm. that like knowing someone and dating someone who's that good 
with like saving. Yeah. It was just nuts to me. So I just had a nice conversation with Rachel. Have you ever helped her make rent in her place? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've given her money mm -hmm. um, that she's paid back to me. Like, like she, she loves doing payment plans, so she'll yeah. do them with me even. You yeah. Know. She mentioned that you pay for the meals. 85, 90% probably, yeah. She did seem down about that, but do you think if you had to say, okay, she pays for half the meals or we don't go out, or would you be like, I'm gonna pay for it and I don't care? I don't need her to pay for it because, you know, I like treating her anyways. Do you have any, you know, reservations about how she manages money? You know, I, I would like her to be better at managing her own money. Um, when you're not making a certain amount, you know, okay, well, this month I have to pay rent and that's mm -hmm. pretty much all I'll be able to do. Say you were to get married, do you ever want to be the sole provider in the relationship? Um, I mean, if I was making enough, which is like possible, I wouldn't mind it, no. Like, you know, one of the reasons I like her and we work is that she wants to do something. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for letting me come and spend the day with you. I think you have a lot of love in your relationship and I think the money piece will just get figured out. So I have a couple of things that I'd like to assign to you. First, I have a joint goal for both of you. Since you have a lot of information available to you, I want you to start to come up with a joint budget for if you were to move in together into a two bedroom place, think about what the utilities would be, what the grocery budget would be, how much it would cost and plug it into an actual budget. So Rachel, I think that you need to make money a little bit more fun than it has been. I'm challenging you to try to make an extra $100 a week. <laughs> and okay. it could be really just doing surveys online, walking dogs, just try random things. And with that income, just hold on to it and start to save it and see what it feels like to have $100 saved. There's tons of blogs about ways that you can earn income from your computer. Just give it a try and just okay. be curious. I want you to get more comfortable with it, Rachel. Ty, I think you need to start putting it to work. You're young, you're working, so I think what you should do is start to invest. And investing is one of those things. It's like rock climbing. You don't really learn how to do it by reading about it or thinking about it. It's one of those things you just have to start doing. And it's not as complicated as a lot of people think. As you start getting comfortable with money, you could start getting comfortable with money in a different way too. All right, well, I'm gonna be checking back in with you in a few weeks and you're doing all the right things by just starting to talk about this now. And thank you so much for having me over. It was great to hear her perspective on our situation for Rachel and for me and like working together for the future. I, I think it was all super exciting. I think it will be easier to talk about money because he knows what my goals are now. At least $20 a day more. <laughs> but I can like tell him about it he and can like, keep on her he and, can keep yeah, on me yeah. and like support me in a way that's like helpful. Hey. Hi. How's it going? What time is it I there? I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, I wish yeah. you were here. Yeah, me too. I have to go. Uh, Misty's here. But I'll, I'll, we'll call you back okay. in a little bit, okay? Bye. Hi! Hi. How are Welcome. you? I'm well. So I noticed we're missing one. Yes. So what's <laughs> going on? He's in Barcelona on okay. a work trip. So how has it been going for him so far? We haven't talked that much because uh, I'm pretty much waking up when he's going to sleep. So how has it been for you the past couple of weeks on your own? A little lonely, but mm -hmm. um, it's been nice because I, I've been able to just stand on my own two feet for the past few weeks. I rely on him like a lot yeah. more than I realize. <laughs> How has that felt financially? Kind of felt like I was in college again a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so have you and Ty worked on that moving in together budget that we talked about? We have, yes. Um, it's been pretty busy and with him being gone, it's been a little challenging, but probably would be like a 60-40 situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Percent. I set limits for myself mm -hmm. of like how much I can spend and I'm finding though when he, since he's been gone I feel a lot more confident in myself as like a individual mm -hmm. provider I guess yeah and not just because I'm taking care of him but taking care of myself too so that I can take care of him if I Good. need to for things. So how has that felt as far as you know maybe your thoughts your personal thoughts about moving in together? I would definitely mm -hmm. be like more on board with that than yeah. I would have been like a year ago. I know we talked about other ways you could think about, you know, bringing in income without maybe having to 
work in a corporate environment. Or... Yeah, there's there's a couple of changes. Okay. So there's a company I found. I'm kind of on a trial run with them, but I've already made a video and they've paid me for it. So that was something like an extra income. Good. Might never be 50-50 income wise in the relationship. And yeah. it rarely ever is. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. I think it's still yeah. nice to know that like, I have my finances in order yeah. and I can get by if I need to. You know, as long as we're both happy and what we're contributing, I mean, he's already happy now, yeah. but he wants me to be happy with it. Yeah. I think that's like, I needed to be more comfortable and feel better about my situation. Speaking of him, I'd love to see, you know, some of his thoughts, see how things are going quick. If he has a minute, yeah. do you think that we can chat with him? Yes. All right, great. Hi, Ty. Hello. How do you feel like, discussions about money and everything's been going with you both lately. Uh, good. I mean, I, I think you definitely helped get the conversation started. Good. And how about your individual goals? Were you able to start investing? Yeah, I'm happy with uh, <laughs> yeah. where it's at right now. Good thing that you did that there. I think it'll definitely pay off in the long run. Well, I'm so glad that we were able to catch up. Thank you so much for chatting with us, okay? Thank you, I yep. love you. All right. Bye, Ty. Bye, Thank you. you. It was good to see Thank him. You. It sounds like he's ready to come home to yes. you. So <laughs> we're both ready. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. I think you're on the right track. Money can feel like good. It can be fun to make money if you're doing the things that you want to do and using yeah. those skills that you've built up. I Thank hope things you. work out and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad that we got to work together. Thank you so much. Misty. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. I'll stay in touch. Bye. When Ty and I first started this, I was feeling really anxious. Hello. We never really talked about money before. Now we're starting the conversation and something we can work on together. We have like a more even ground right now. Even though I know where I'm lacking, he, he knows where I want to improve and he can help me with that. So I can't thank Misty enough. I'm confident in the tools that I've been given and confident in myself as a person who knows how to budget and knows how to manage their money. He's confident in that too. I'm feeling really excited. <laughs>